Hi folks, this is Bill with Handyman and Consulting bringing you yet another video regarding home and real estate and repairs and everything that has to do with the roof. Um, we're on a contractor series kick and we already have a couple under our belt. You know, when you have something around the house and you're looking to get it repaired or rebuilt or a, a new whatever, you know, a new deck or a, a granite countertops installed or a new kitchen or whatever, you know, um, you want to uh, put on an addition to the house. You want to have a honeymoon experience with your contractor. And what do I mean by that? Uh, nothing sexual. We're not talking about that. Honeymoon means a sweet experience. Um, smooth, um, happy, um, pleasant experience, a honeymoon experience with your contractor. And, and here I just like to add from another video, you're looking to develop relationships. Um, don't look to burn bridges with contractors. Um, it, it usually bites you, uh, later on down the road. You know, if, if you, um, if you, uh, you're in a, you're working with a, a mason and you're having some, some chimney work repair done and, uh, don't, don't think that that's one, one and done. You know, you have a basement, you have a foundation that's masonry. You, you might have a backyard, uh, uh, brick patio or, or wanna, that's brick masonry. You might have a front facade, uh, some, around the stoop, around the, some type of a, a, you know, a decorative brick or stone. That's all masonry. You might need someone to help you with that in the future. Um, so, so we're, we're not looking to, I, my burden for you, my hope is that you would, you would learn the skills on choosing the right, learning how to hire the right contractor. Okay. To have a long term relationship, business relationship, professional relationship, even, even that some contractors might become your friend. That would be my hope. That's always my, that's my, that's what I'm looking for when I'm, I, I like to work with familiar per people. I don't want to see someone new in my house every time a new project needs to be done. I like to, I like to develop rapport with, with people and, and see them again and again. Send them, send them a, you know, I don't know about a Christmas card, but you know, know when their birthday is, you know, and you can do that if you choose the right contractor, hire the right contract from, from the very beginning. So in this contractor series, I'd like to talk about dependability. Um, and well, maybe we'll just lean into this matter of communication. Okay. Um, and this goes for customers as it does contractors. It goes both ways. Uh, let's say you're, you're, you're looking to get some estimates on, on getting a, a bathroom remodeled and you're on Facebook or one of the social media and, and you reach out and a contractor reach, reach, reach back, reach, reaches back out to you. And then you never do anything. You say, Oh, thank you. But I'm already working with someone. You just leave it out there. Hey, do you do? Yes, we do remodeling. Uh, what, would you like a free estimate? And then nothing. And then nothing. So that's that's on the contract. That's on that's on the client side, the customer side. But um, but in this episode, we're talking about how to how to hire a contractor. So so you reach out and say, Hi, um, I'm looking to get a bathroom done. Would you be willing to do an estimate? And then nothing. And nothing. And then a week later, oh, do you still want an estimate? Be war This is a warning. This is a warning. Um, you, you know, um, when you're developing, uh, you're going back and forth regarding the estimate or um, choosing times to come over. Uh, and if the contractor starts to blank out, blank out, disappear, ghost, ghost you. That's a, that's a 20, 2020 word, ghost, disappear. Uh, be careful. These are signs. These are signs. Maybe this isn't the right contractor. 
because actually we talk about, I, I mentioned about a honeymoon experience. You know, down the line, you'd like to develop a long-term relationship, right? What, what, what kind of a relationship can a husband and wife have if they don't talk to one another? You send a text and no response. You call, voicemail. Wait a day, nothing. Two days, nothing. These are warnings. These are warnings. So in this episode, we'll, we'll entitle this How to Choose, How to Hire a Contractor, Testing Their com Communication Skills. Okay? And if you start to get red flags, if you, if you text or you reach out to a contractor and there's no response for a day or two, or, or they're, they're, uh, they're, they're supposed to come and give you an estimate at 10 a.m. or noon, and they never arrive off the books, off the books, erase the number, you know, unless they call back, oh, so sorry, you know, my car broke down, I had to go to the ER, I drilled through my finger, I'm so sorry. Well, that's, that's a different story if they do it promptly right after. But if you, you don't hear from them, then look for the next, you're filtering out who is a contractor you'd like to work with and who you don't want to work with? Okay? That's it for this episode. We have a couple more coming on the way. Stay tuned. Actually, we have a bunch of videos, but Facebook hasn't been allowing us to upload them. They're about the six, seven minute mark, but maybe that's too much. I don't know. Oh, we got a lot of content we'd like to share. Stay tuned for the next video. Take care. Stay warm. Bye-bye.